knew this was a bad idea. You don't say much for a DJ. Eddie! You old sea dog, you. Mm. Keep and guess to yourself. Just as I was going crazy, thinking I'd never see a fair maiden again. Now that is more like it. Made you welcome, has he? Never mind. Eddie here's a great skipper, but not much of a party animal. You know what I'm talking about. Too many years just into the old shipping forecast, eh, hey, Ed? So it's all right if we stay for a bit? Well, if you weren't, my love, I'd be keeping you hostage. Uh, Mr Lomax, my dad sent me about the... Come on. Come see my studio. Hey, go on. We'll sort it. Your wrist. Pretty close right there. So this is where it all happens. Here you go. Choose a record. Any record. You, you choose it. Come on. Oh, and you. Oh, and me. <coughs> I was I was just wondering when you'd be ready to ready to settle. Your time in it, it sucks. All right, didn't you didn't your old man teach you not to mix business with uh Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lenny Lomax Show. And sitting right beside me, I have three lovely young ladies who've popped across from shore. Say hello to the listeners, girls. Uh, hello. Hey, hello. that's Lizzie on radio. Oh, and uh, what do you think of the show? <laughs> I just think it's so super that my mum and dad think you're a very, very bad influence. <laughs> and a knockout new single, Piccadilly Dreams. You heard it here first. This is it, Jack. <laughs> I can see him now. Millions of girls screaming your name. That captain won't tie up Jono. 
spot. He, he's planning on taking the boat and all the supplies. He says it's because you owe him money. Where's it gone? My historical moment. Eddie, it's taking us off here. What are you doing? You, you, you just escape him, man. You can't mess with my son. When you hired me, I thought I'd be getting regular pay. So we're just taking the gear to cover what you owe. If you think you're using my dad's boat, who cares about your boat? Get out to my radio station. That's my dad's life. What are you talking about? Sort something out, eh? No one has seen a penny for months. Even the booze is on tech. And you owe us money. You can't let innocent people go out of pocket. I don't get it, Lenny. You can't be skin. That's typical. Radio Neptune had to cut out just then. Maybe your song blew their system. It's not funny, Jack. Look, is there any way we can contact the boat? I suppose there's the old ship's radio. Of course. I forgot we still had it. You are a genius. <laughs> Look, Lenny owes us both. We're in the same boat. Really not, mate. There's no room. It's nothing personal. But it is, because... Because my dad left me in charge. That's right, you tell him. Can't just leave us stranded. We're gonna get into so much trouble. Listen. Unload the stuff off the boat, or... or you'll have me to deal with. Nice try, son. What are you gonna do? Another DJ, see, I never thought I'd really need it, but I was wrong, wasn't I? Lenny, 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 I gave you the best job in the world, Eddie boy. Huh? And how do you thank me by stabbing me in the back? You left me with no choice. Listen, just, just calm down and we can... I hope you rot in hell. Do you read me? Over. It's all right, Jono. You're gonna be all right. We've all gone off in the boat and left us. Lenny, we have to get help. No, 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 no! You go, go, go back there with the others. Gone. But Lenny, shut up! All right, stop. Stop your jabbering on. Nobody does anything and it's I say. Okay, apply more pressure to the wound. Oh. Is he uh, is he all right? What do you think? Lenny, we need to get him to hospital. No. No. Your, your nurse is you look after it. I need proper sterile dressings. Is there a first aid kit on board? I don't know. Well, there must be one somewhere. Try to think. We need to do all we can for Jono or you could end up with a murder charge. <sighs> There's a box of stuff in the bridge. What is it? Oh. Use the radio. Channel 16. Ah. Made. Made it. 